Hello everyone. In this video, we'll learn about the poem A Prayer for My Daughter, written by William Butler Yeats. About the poet, William Butler Yeats was an Irish poet, dramatist, writer, and politician. He won the Nobel Prize for his dramatic works in 1923. About the poem, the poem was composed in 1919 and published in 1921. It was written during the World War One. Thus, it reflects the post-war anxiety that was prevalent during that time. Eight's daughter Annie was born in that time, and the poet was worrying a lot for her future. Now, let us see the summary of the poem. A powerful storm is howling outside, but his infant daughter sleeping quietly in the cradle. The poet's mind is filled with gloomy thoughts because the environment is unpleasant and he also worried about his daughter's future. He describes about the atmosphere of the place where they live. He can hear the sea wind that is hitting the tower and arches of the bridge. And then he started to pray for his daughter. The poet wants to give some characteristic that she must follow which can help her future and keep her safe and happy. The poet prays that his daughter should be granted beauty, but the beauty should not give her pride. The poet says if she get the pride, she will lose kindness and not capable to accept sincere love. Here the poet talks about Helen, a Greek mythological character, and Venus, a god of love, who stumbled into unhappy marriages on account of lack of courtesy and humility. The poet prays that his daughter should be in virtue like courtesy. It's enabled to win the people hearts, and he wants his daughter like a flourishing tree with limit wood, which filled with happy and pure. He prays that his daughter should not be hatred mind because the most hatred mind will be arrogant. Here the poet satire his girlfriend Madgoni who refused his proposal and married a foolish man. And then he prays that her daughter get married to a good aristocratic and decent family because they must follow a tradition and culture as well as their moral values he doesn't want his daughter to be arrogant and hatred but he wants his daughter to live a life of high spiritual values